Well, well, if it ain't Maxine. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Maxine, the third film in the X trilogy, written and directed by Ty West. The first film was X, obviously, and then there was the prequel, Pearl, and now this is the follow-up to X. For those of you who didn't see X, it was about a bunch of teenagers and whatnot in the 70s going to this rural farmhouse to film this porno, and on this property there just so happens to be this very old and disgusting couple who like murdering people. Then events ensue, people die, and the only one who gets out is Mia Goth. Maxine is a follow-up to that film with her having taken those events to heart and basically built her life strategy on that in terms of trying to get out of the porn industry and become a full-time actress. She starts the film with her doing an audition very well because she's able to rely and kind of go back to the events of that film and base her character performance on that and we see her start to realize that she's going to be transitioning from one industry to the other and the effects of that as well as the pandemonium of the 80s horror murder and all the while there are people dying that are related to maxine that is supposedly uh, related to this night stalker killer but maxine ain't no damsel in distress she knows how to take down these people one movie that kind of came to mind while watching this was promising young woman in the terms of how she is able to handle herself especially when there's a certain scene involving a guy who tries to corner her down an alley and she definitely is the actual hunter in that scene to a pretty degree but the one thing that i was curious to see is how ty west would handle this the guy has made some pretty terrible movies this is the guy who filmed the sequel to cabin fever however the one caveat to that is that with every movie he's made he has learned he has improved upon himself and hell you can even see that with this trilogy i found that x was okay it had some cool ideas it definitely got popular because of the content and the material and the title but it had some really dry boring bits and it was more kind of homage to like these old exploitation movies rather than actually a decent movie and then there was pearl which was really well done but that also was due to its aesthetic and mia goth absolutely killing it but the movie does drag a little bit whereas maxine i think this is his most comprehensive film the style is knockout. The music is great. The editing is very well done. Also edited by Ty West. If there's any one major complaint I have, it is kind of the ending, but I'll get to that in a minute. He's really learned how to make a comprehensive movie. He knows how to make a film in this genre, and he knows how to play to the strengths of that genre, whether it's from the kills to the gore, to the style, to the shots to the characters. Everyone in this movie is pretty well done. I was actually kind of impressed by how many people were in this movie. You've got Carla Esposito with a fantastic wig, I've got to say. He just looks so good. Michelle Mahanahan, Kevin Bacon. You've got Lily Collins, Halsey, all probably filmed their shit in a day, which is probably how he was able to afford them. And they're not just there, they actually have characters, they actually have purpose to the story. I was seeing some pretty negative reviews going into this film that, uh, aside from me and Goth, the film is just kind of uh, and I don't know, I, I felt this movie was the most comprehensive one. This is the one that is the most well-paced, this is the one that has the best flow. If only, again, once the antagonist of the movie is revealed it's an undeniable disappointment technically speaking out of all of the things that ty west did he didn't really build up this antagonist that great the best way i can describe it without spoiling it is it's a bone collector kind of twist and for those of you who know that movie you'll kind of understand what i mean but it definitely doesn't feel like it was built properly to it and then the film has a bit of a tonal shift it kind of goes into this very heavy different sort of style and then when the film does end it doesn't because it feels like ty didn't know how to end his movie so essentially he gives you three different endings it did feel a little bit like okay i don't know how to end this movie so i'm gonna do this instead i definitely felt like that was where the film faltered obviously the endings are always the hardest part to land and sometimes you can kind of like but you still get there that's how it feels with maxine overall i definitely feel it's the best movie to watch from a general audience perspective 
I think Pearl is the better one, but that's because it just goes off the fucking rails with Mia Goff's crazy acting. But this one, I feel it is the most enjoyable. I think it's got the best humor. I think it's got the best style. There was a few jokes that I was making while watching the movie. Uh, one involving a boom op with doing a completely lazy job, not really doing his job at all. When you guys get to that part of the movie, you'll understand if you're keeping an eye out for him. I think that Maxine is probably the best movie that Ty West has made. I think it is the best of the trilogy, but I also can see other people thinking that Pearl is the best one. I can kind of understand how some people would think X is the better one too, but that's not my opinion at all. In the end, I'm going to give Maxine a 4 out of 7. It's a commendable movie. It's got decent style. It's got decent acting. It definitely has a great homage feel to the films of this age without being over the top about it. It does have some faults. Like I said, the ending's a bit but I still feel it is a commendable movie and it's the best one of the three in my opinion. But those are my thoughts about this film. Very curious to see what you guys have to say about it. Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite film of this trilogy? What do you think is the best? And what did you like or dislike about Maxine? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you all next time.